Tom Brady went into the New England Patriots Hall of Fame in the most epic of ways. In his recent return to New England, it was none other than Jay-Z who issued a public service announcement as Brady walked into Gillette Stadium to the tune of a standing ovation. Ironically, it ended up being Sean Carter reintroducing himself to that Boston fan base. Those people were not responding to Jay's music at all. His most mainstream of records got little to no acknowledgement from that Boston crowd to the point where former NFL player and Patriot Antonio Brown saw the performance and tweeted, Jay didn't perform at any Hip Hop 50 concerts last year where the fans would have known every word to his songs, but he made time to get ignored by rich folks shaking my head. AB pointing out the fact that Jay-Z didn't perform in any of the opportunities that he had all last year as again, hip hop turned 50 years of age. Man, do I hate being on the same side of anything with Antonio Brown because he is ridiculous on social media, but dang it, even a dead clock is right twice a day. AB's got a point. <laughs> you know, I love Jay-Z. Everybody knows that, but let's call a spade a spade. The fact that Jay, who probably is returning a favor for Tom Brady, popped out as hip hop's best to this venue for Tom Brady's Hall of Fame ceremony. And I'm watching these people not acknowledge the greatness that is Jay-Z with his most mainstream of record that everybody freaking knows. It was slightly embarrassing to see, and I did not like seeing that because I have the utmost respect for what Sean Carter has done for rap music. When I see that, cover that up with the fact that Jay really wasn't around much of the concert venues and award shows that celebrated hip hop turning 50. It's like, bro, that ain't a good look. Again, some will argue Jay has done so much for hip hop. He's got the right to perform whenever the heck he want. Some would say hip hop has done so much for Jay-Z, maybe more than anybody else he should at least acknowledge its importance in a performance set. And we didn't get that last year. We even got Jay at the Tony Awards with Alicia Keys before we got him at a, a bigger venue. And let's just call a spade a spade. There's only but so many people that have that real influence. When you look at some of these award shows like BET, like MTV, that don't have the same cachet as they did in years past, all it take is Jay, B, or Drake popping in uh, for a year or two and it's immediately right back at the top of the forefront but clearly it's not valued y'all let me know do y'all believe jay owed it to hip-hop 50 to perform and what are your thoughts seeing him pretty much get disregarded by that boston fan base during tom brady's hall of fame ceremony let me know if you think we're reaching a little too much i appreciate embrace all your thoughts and comments time love and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Again, I can't speak for AB. For me, I'm a little frustrated because Jay-Z should not walk in any room and perform where people don't know his music. This is our legend. And I ain't like how it just optically read for me, at least. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's underdog fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play too. All you gotta do is go to the underdog fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code Ferro, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, underdog fantasy's website or app, Use my code FERRO and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HOOPSFERRO for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Teleferro YouTube channel and hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at is Mr. Telefero, Copper Supporter Badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The Sea Geek promo code is Hoops Ferro. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro.